Welcome everyone to my first Pilates and yoga video. So I uh, wanted to share this video so that you could have some self-care at home uh, while we are in quarantine or isolation or whatever you might be doing, maybe self-isolation. Uh, my cats might be joining us as well. And there's Naya and Naya is vocal to say the least. So if you hear her throughout the class, don't worry, she's totally fine, she's just loud. I also want to take a note about our mental health. So before you step on your mat today, I want you to make sure that you put on your favorite yoga clothes, make sure you feel good because quite often that's what we forget about is those little tiny things. So make sure that you feel amazing, then step on your mat and join me. If you're working with any injuries or illnesses, please make sure you work at your own pace today. Make sure everything feels good because I'm not there to kind of assist you and guide you. So please make sure nothing is pinching or crunching. If there is anything that's not feeling right, send me a message. Message. I'm here to answer anything for you. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so let's get started seated today. So sitting cross-legged or legs extended, whatever's feeling best for you. I want you to bring your hands onto your lap and a long neutral curve in the spine. Trying to release your hip flexors as much as possible. So if that means rolling up the back of your mat, place it underneath of your hips or pull out any fleshy bits, feel free to do so. Inhale this neutral curve in your spine. As you exhale, exhale through the mouth, curl the tailbone around the spine, draw the chin down towards the chest. Inhale, let's open back up into a neutral curve. Ribs to pelvis, pelvis to ribs still. Exhale, curl and scoop belly. One more time, inhale, let's open. Exhale, curl and round. Inhale, open back up and let's maybe give those shoulders a little roll, a little circle, warm those up. Make those circles a little bit bigger. And then opposite direction. Nice deep breath here. And again, I'm sorry, I don't have the best equipment, so I might be going in and out of focus. I apologize for that. As you inhale, both hands sweep up towards the sky. Clasp the hands, push the palms up towards the ceiling. Relax the neck down, reaching up and over to one side. Inhale through to center. Reach up and over to the opposite side. Inhale through to center, relax those hands. Sweep your feet back behind you. Let's come onto all fours. Now, depending on what kind of flooring you're working with, you might have some pinching or crunching underneath of your knees if it's a harder surface. If that's the case, I want you to roll up the back of your mat, place it underneath of your knees, make sure it's nice and cushioned. If your wrists ever bother you, fists or forearms are a great option. Just be extra mindful of your low back if you're on your forearms. I want you to fight gravity with your abdominals, so tucking the abdominals in, ribs to pelvis, pelvis to ribs, neutral curve in your low back. Inhale in this neutral curve, as you exhale, curl the tailbone round the spine, chin can relax towards the chest. Inhale, working your way back into a neutral, but keep an abdominal engagement. Hello, exhale, curl the tailbone round the spine, chin comes towards the chest. As you inhale, coming back into a neutral, hold the engagement in your abdominals, broaden your collarbones. I want a steel bar from shoulder to shoulder. Now extend your right leg back behind you and let's lift. Now I want you to make sure those hips are nice and level with one another so that you are not lifting that right hip up towards the sky. We're nice and in a neutral position. I'm gonna wave at the camera here just to get my focus back, hello. Now I want you to extend your left arm out in front of you, and if you'd like more of a challenge, let's lift. Plug your limbs into your sockets as you reach out through the fingers and toes. Neck should be in a neutral position, so I know you're probably looking at your phone or your TV right now. I want you to look down towards the mat. Keep yourself in a neutral. Find your breath here, inhale. And as you exhale, both hands, both knees come back down. I want you to give it a little shake out before we come into the opposite side. So let's extend the left leg back behind you and more of a challenge, let's lift. Right hand can come out in front, more of a challenge, let's lift. Let's plug in so that we can reach out. Keep your abdominals lifted in a neck in a neutral position. Keep lifting those abdominals, ribs to pelvis, pelvis to ribs. Find the balance here, finding those stabilizing muscles. Inhale, as you exhale, both hands, both knees come back down. Give it a little shake out here. Beautiful, sweep those feet back out in front of you. I'm going to be facing the camera now. I want you to point your toes, root down through your hips. Again, if your hip flexors are tight, roll up the back of your mat, place it underneath. Bring your hands onto your shoulders. Inhale in a nice long neutral curve in the spine. As you exhale, twist to the left, holding there. I want you to feel those obliques engaged. 
engaging for you here. And your chest is still nice and open. Chin is parallel with the floor. Crown of the head reaching up to the sky. As you inhale, bring yourself back through to center. As you exhale, twist to the right. And again, just hold. Micro bend in the knees so that we're not hyperextending by any chance. Find that breath. Find those obliques engaging, those side abdominals. One more breath. Then inhale, bring yourself back through to center. Hands relax down. Slide your feet in a little closer to your hips and then grab behind your thighs. Now here we're going into a V-sit. So again, pull out any fleshy bits that you have underneath. I've got plenty. Roll the shoulders back and down. Lean back until you find your abdominals are firing up like brakes of a car. They're pushing so that we don't fall back towards the ground. Neutral curve in that low back and a neutral curve in the neck. Walk your feet in. If you'd like more, let's lift our feet so that they're level with our knees. Keep that chest nice and open. Imagine you're a Care Bear, expanding your heart into the world. Now, if you'd like more, hands release out to the sides. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale through the mouth. You'll want to hear that exhale. Don't be scared to hear your breath. It's important. One more breath here. Then place those feet back down onto the floor, knees to chest. Give yourself a nice good squeeze here. As you inhale, let's roll back up. Let's roll down onto our mats, but do it so slowly, so controlled that we feel every vertebra resting down onto the mat. Once you're down, hands can reach all the way overhead, extend your legs, maybe even point your toes. Beautiful. Both knees bend, feet flat on the floor. Bring your hands beside your thighs, palms facing down. Roll the chest open so that we're not holding tension in our neck. I want stability in your hips here. That's our key. Neutral curve in that low back. Right leg lifts up towards the sky. First start by rolling the ankle so that we can know the difference between the ankle and the femur, that leg bone. Go opposite direction with that ankle. Roll. And then hold the ankle stable. I like to come into a floyd, so the flex and the point at the same time looks like Barbie's foot in Barbie's shoe. Now keeping that left knee stable, your hips stable, no movement at all, draw circles on the ceiling with your right leg. Now you can make these circles as big or as small as you'd like, as long as there's no movement in that left knee and in those hips. Now, if you're wanting more of a challenge, extend your left leg onto the mat and rest it down, and continue to make those circles without moving those hips. Go opposite directions with these circles now. So this is a very distinct, controlled movement, and it's not about the movement itself here that's giving you the exercise, it's the stability behind the movement. So you're going to be focusing on those core muscles to keep your hips nice and stable. Draw that right knee in towards your chest now. Wrap your hands around your shin. Give it a little good squeeze. Now let's keep our head and neck down, but lift your left leg so it hovers above the mat. So if you have the knee bent still, let's extend it out nice and long. Now as you exhale, let's switch legs. So the left knee comes in, right leg extends out. Keep your abdominals tight, ribs to pelvis, pelvis to ribs. Exhale, let's switch. Exhale, let's switch. Now, if you're wanting more of a challenge today, let's lift your chest so that your chest is lifted and it stays elevated at the same level as we draw the knees in and out. Shh. Exhale, switch. Shh. Exhale, switch. Two more. Last set. I want you to end with the left knee in towards the chest. Bend your right knee, place the right foot on the floor. Head and neck can rest back down if you had it lifted. Now let's lift that left leg up towards the sky. Hands come beside the thighs. Let's roll the chest open. Roll the ankle three times. Three, two, one. Go opposite directions. Three, two, one. Hold that ankle stable. Hold your hips and your right knee stable. Draw circles with that left foot up towards the ceiling. So again, we want to isolate this movement so it's the femur, that leg bone, rotating in the hip joint. So there will be no movement in the ankle, no movement in the right knee, no movement in your hips. Keep the control from your core. That powerhouse is firing up. Let's go opposite directions here. Smile while you're doing this, knowing that you're giving yourself this time. You should be proud of yourself for stepping onto your mat. Three, two, last time. Beautiful, bring that left knee in towards your chest, give yourself a little squeeze. 
Now from here, I want you to left leg to extend all the way up to the sky. Now if you have a soft bend in your knee, because not every hamstring is built uh, with this extension, I want you to keep it comfortable for yourself. Clasp your hands behind that left thigh, extend your right leg so it's hovering above the mat. Now if you'd like more of a challenge, let's lift. As you exhale, let's switch. Exhale, let's switch. Beautiful, keep your breath going. Exhaling to switch. Can you keep the abdominals tucked in, releasing those hip flexors as much as possible because they're going to try to fire up. They're going to be strong here. I want you to release them. Make sure those neck flexors are not taking over. Three, two, one. And with the right leg up towards the sky, bend the left knee, place the left foot back down, head and neck relax back down. Both feet come back down. Hands beside the thighs, palms facing down, roll the chest open. Make sure your feet are nice and close to your hips. As you inhale, curl the tailbone under, let's lift our hips up off the mat, squeeze the back side of the body here. Any neck discomfort, I want you to ease back down. So not only are we going to be opening up the front side of the body, just in case they took over in that last exercise, but we're also going to be strengthening the back side here. Take a nice deep inhale and an exhale. Now, if you're wanting more here, as you inhale, release the contraction of the backside so your hips come down a couple of inches. Exhale, contract the backside to lift those hips back up. Inhale, let's release. Exhale, let's lift. Keep those knees nice and stable so we're not going to be moving those knees at all. They are staying right in the same place. They are suspended in space. Now, if you're wanting more of a challenge here, I want you to spread those toes a little bit wider, think Flintstone feet, lift those heels like you're wearing six inch heels on a Saturday night, keep the engagement in the back side. Then again, if you're wanting more, inhale lower, exhale, let's lift. Inhale, let's lower, exhale, let's lift. We've got three more here. Three, two, last time. Beautiful, now to come down, we're going to roll down slowly with control, one vertebra at a time. Squeeze that low belly as you're coming down, then come back into that neutral curve. You can gently sway those knees from side to side. Roll on over to your right side here. Now, this is where I really want you to take a look so that those hip flexors don't take over. I want you parallel with the long edge of the mat, so you might need to adjust back and forth side to side a little bit. And your head will rest on your upper arm, or maybe you can grab a pillow for yourself if you'd like a pillow as opposed to your arm. Lift your top leg so that it's just hip height. Let's flex the foot here and point. Flex and point. Flex and point. Two more. Flex and point. Last time. Flex. And point. Now come into that point, so the point, flex and the point at the same time, and draw circles at the top. Now just like when we were drawing circles on the ceiling, this is about control of the hips here. This is not about how big or how fast the movement is. It's all about the control, which is based from your core. Go opposite directions with these circles here. Three, two, and one. Beautiful, slowly rest that back leg down. Coming into the banana now. So if you're having trouble with your balance and you're swaying back and forth at all, place your top hand in front of you to help with your balance. Or for more of that challenge, hands come onto your hips. The banana, inhale, top leg lifts to hip height. As you exhale, bottom leg comes to meet it. Exhale, both feet lower down. But again, keeping the stability in the hips. Stack one right on top of another. Inhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, exhale. Find that breath. That's going to help you with your balance. Three, two, last time. Nice work. Bring your feet off at a 45 degree angle now. So your upper body is parallel with the long edge of the mat, then your feet shoot off at that 45 degree, degree, degree angle. Pick up your top leg so that it's hip height. Now I'm working with a ladder here, but I want you to bicycle and make these bicycles as if you're borrowing a friend's bicycle and that friend is taller than you. So you have to reach for those pedals a little bit further than you normally would. But again, I want you to have that hip stability. It's so important. Let's go opposite directions here. Three, two, last time, 
Excellent, both feet come back down. Give it a little shake out. And then let's roll on over to our left side. Adjust as needed. Make sure that you're comfortable and you're parallel with the long edge of the mat. So we should only be able to see our big toes in all reality. Bringing that hand in front of you to help with your balance or onto your hip if you'd like more of a challenge. Let's lift your top leg, flex and point that toe. Flex and point, flex and point. Again, just smile at yourself, knowing that you stepped on your mat today, that you're giving this time for yourself, and maybe with your kiddos too, depending on if you're a parent or not. Let's come into that point again, so it's the flex and that point. Draw circles with that top leg now. So again, I want you to visualize that femur rotating in the hip joint. So it is really not about the movement itself, it's about that control behind the movement. Maybe slow it down a little bit if you're finding that you're rocking it all. Go opposite directions. You're really working that gluteus medius, even into those obliques, the quadratus lumborum a little bit as well. Three, two, last one. Both feet come back down. Nice work. Now let's come into that banana. Inhale, top leg lifts. Exhale, bottom. Exhale, both feet come down. Now if you're finding that you're swaying, again, that hand can come in front of you to help with your balance. Or for more of a challenge, hand come onto your hip. But this is, again, not about the size. Now, because I'm not there to watch you in this banana, I want you to make sure that yet that leg is only coming up to hip height. Quite often we think our hips are bigger than they are, and what I see is legs all the way up here. I want it nice and controlled, so only to hip height. Three more, two, last time. Let's come back into that bicycle, and again, it's a friend's bicycle that we've borrowed. Pick up that top leg so that it's hip height, and let's ride that bicycle. Make it a little bit bigger than you're used to because you have to reach for those pedals. Make sure that your hip stays in line with your knee and in line with the ankle. Because again, those hip flexors will try to take over, and it will try to draw your knee in or up, but I want it nice and level. Go opposite directions here. Find that breath, find that smile towards yourself. Three, two, last one. And both feet come back together. Nice work, push into your hand, make your way onto all fours once again. Knees are underneath of your hips, hands are underneath of your shoulders. Again, any wrist discomfort, fists are great options. Now if you would like more, Let's extend that right leg back behind you and lift. So you can always keep that toe down or you can extend it. Point that right toe if you have the room. I don't have that room right now. Left hand comes out in front of you. More of a challenge, let's lift. Plug the limbs in so that we can reach out. Neck is going to be in a neutral. So again, I don't want you looking up towards the TV or towards your phone. I want it in that neutral position. Now, this is our tricky cat that we started with. If you'd like more of a challenge, as you exhale, draw the elbow in towards the knee, scoop the belly round the spine. Inhale, let's reach out nice and long. Exhale, bring it in. Now again, this is all about control. Can you make this movement slower than you're used to? Slow it down even more if you can. Because it's not about the movement itself, it's about the thought behind the movement. One more. Beautiful. Bring that left hand down, keep that right leg extended out. Now I'm going to move forward so I have a little bit more room for that right leg. Now let's draw circles with that right leg. So we've drawn circles when we were on our back, we've drawn circles when we were on our side, and we're drawing circles once again on all fours. So it's the exact same thing here. It's not about the circle or the movement, it's about the stability behind the movement. Keep fighting gravity with your abdominals. Draw your ribs to your pelvis, pelvis to your ribs. I want you to brace that core. Opposite direction with these circles now. Three, two, and one. Both knees come back down. I want you to give it a shake out. Maybe you feel those balancing muscles on the left side. Totally normal. Let's extend that left leg out. More of a challenge, let's lift. Right hand can come out in front. Again, more of a challenge, let's lift. Plug in so you can reach out. Abdominals lifting here again. 
I want that neck in a neutral spine. Broaden those collarbones, micro bend in that left elbow so we don't hyperextend. If you'd like more as you exhale, draw the knee in towards the elbow. Inhale, reach out, point that toe, point your fingers away. Exhale, draw it in. You've got it. Rounding the spine, curling the belly, scooping it out like we have an ice cream scooper and we're scooping everything out. Two more here. Last time. Extend that left leg back behind you. Place that right hand down. Let's draw those circles again. Making sure that those hips stay nice and level. So if you had a glass of wine or maybe even a teacup, depending on what time it is and what if you're drinking, <laughs> then we're going to keep those glasses full and not spilling. Neck is long. Can you draw those shoulders to your hips? Go opposite directions with the circles. Again, ribs to pelvis, pelvis to ribs. Your belly button has a string attached to the back of it, of it and someone's drawing you up from the ceiling. Three, two, and one. Both knees come back down. Give it a little shake out. Spread those fingers nice and wide. I want you to curl your toes under, lift your hips up towards the sky for a down dog. Then one knee at a time here, gently shake it out. I want you to find stability in your downward dog. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale, but we're going to be inhaling and exhaling through the nose now. As you inhale next, right leg lifts up only as high as it feels comfortable. Then as you exhale, your right foot steps through in between your hands. So this is where it's important to check in with your form. Make sure that knee tracks over top of your ankle. Now let's relax your left knee down onto the mat. Again, any pinching or crunching, roll up the back of your mat, place it underneath of your knee. I want you to be comfortable. Uncurl the back toe. Walk your right foot out to the right. Your right hand comes to the inner edge of the right foot. So this is our lizard pose here. Now, if you're wanting more of a hip stretch, I want you to walk your left knee, that back knee, back a little bit more. Open up those hips. If you're wanting more of a twist, your right hand can come onto your right thigh, and maybe just staying there for today. If you would like more, press into that right hand, twisting open. Now, if you're here and you would still like more and you're wanting more of a stretch, I want you to Bend your left knee so your heel is coming nice and close to your hip. So you'll feel that quadricep stretch on the left hip right away. Any knee discomfort though, I want you to ease out. It's important. If you're wanting more right hand reaches back, see if you can tickle your toes. Now if you do have a hold of the foot, push the foot into the hand and the hand into the foot. Opening up. Breathe into your heart here. Now slowly, without slingshotting, that's important, release that left foot back down. Walk your right foot all the way over to the left side, and then release the shin down. So your right knee will be towards the right side of your mat, right foot over to the left side. Again, uncurl that back toe. Now important here is that we don't swing into that right hip. If you want a foam block or even a pillow underneath of that right hip to stay supported, feel free to grab it. Walking your hands forward only if you'd like more of a stretch. Keeping that open chest, neutral curve in the low back. If you would like more forearms down onto the mat, you can let your head and neck relax down here. I want you to send your breath into your hips, knowing that we hold our anger, our fear, our sadness in our hips. This is a great chance to release it out. Oh, here's Suka, the fluffy kitty. Place your right hip down onto the mat now, pushing into your hands, bring yourself upright. Now as you do this, slide your left shin so it comes parallel with the long edge of the left side of your mat. Place your right hand just behind your right hip. Your left hand is going to lift up towards the sky, gaze up towards that left hand. Now maybe staying right there, again, I'm sorry about my focus, but you can hear my voice still. If you would still like more, pushing into your right fingertips, lift out of your hips and into your heart. So quite often we'll dump into the low back. I want you to think about expanding your hips forward, expanding your quadriceps so you can reach out through that heart. Lengthen out of your low back for your stargazer. 
Nice deep breath here. And as you exhale, slowly bring your hips back down. Bring yourself onto all fours once again. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath of the hips. Curl the toes under, lift your hips up towards the sky, downward dog. Left leg is now going to lift up only as high as it feels comfortable. As you exhale, left foot comes in between the hands. You might need to scooch it forward more. That's totally fine. I want that knee over top of the ankle because that is the important part here so that those joints stay nice and safe. Release that right knee down, uncurl the back toe. Walk your left foot out to the left side. Left hand comes to the inner edge. If you'd like more, let's walk that back knee back a little bit. Open up those hips. And again, maybe staying here, or if you'd like more, that left hand can come to the left thigh. And if you'd like more of that twist, twist into that left side. So pushing into the left hand, into the left thigh, so you can twist open to the left side. Keep that chest nice and open, neck nice and long, drawing the shoulders gently towards the hips. Find your breath here. Knowing that our twists release our digestive system, all of our organs. Walk that left foot back through the center. Left hand comes to the outer edge of the left foot. And walk your left foot all the way over to the right side. And then let your left shin rest down. So I forgot to mention this on the other side, but there will be a slight angle in that uh, shin. So your knee will be closer to the front edge of the mat than your foot, and that's totally fine. You can walk that back knee back if it feels good. You can take a look. Just make sure that that back leg is nice and straight, parallel with the long edge of the mat, because if that left hip sinks down, like I mentioned earlier, that right knee will draw out to the right side. Your chest is nice and open. Let's walk your hands forward if you'd like more of a stretch. If you'd like more, lower down onto your forearms. Head and neck can relax down. Find your breath here, and maybe visualize your breath as a color entering into your hips. Know that any emotions that arise right now are completely normal. I want you to label them with one word. Maybe that word is planning. Maybe it's sadness, fear, anger, whatever it might be. I want you to label it, then file it away. And then come to your breath. And again, just watch your breath. Entering into those hips. And then out through your nose. Let's come back into that stargazer, pushing into your hands, bringing yourself upright. Let's let your left hip rest down so that bend in your right knee will start to happen. Draw the right knee up so that your left foot and your right knee are connecting. Your right shin is parallel to the long edge of the mat now. Left hand comes just behind the left hip. Right hand lifts up towards the sky. Again, if you'd like more, let's push into your fingertips. Lift through your hips. Lift out of your low back and into your heart. Any discomfort in your wrist, shoulder, or your elbow on that left side, I want you to lower back down. And then obviously, any discomfort in that low back, I want you to ease out. I want you to breathe through your heart, expanding through the layers of your skin so we open up our aura. Take a nice deep inhale here. And as you exhale, slowly relax back down. Coming into a cross-legged position as long as that's available. As you inhale, both hands reach all the way up to the sky. Nice neutral curve in the low back, so if your hip flexors take over, I want you to ease out. Place that rolled up portion of your mat underneath of your hips. Right hand comes to your left thigh, and your left hand is gently going to fall behind here, coming back into that twist once again. Opening up your chest if that's available. Long neutral curve in the low back. Chin is parallel with the floor. With each inhale, see if you can lengthen the spine. And with each exhale, see if you can deepen your twist just a tiny bit more. Listening to your body, seeing how far you want to take it today. As you inhale, slowly lift up towards the sky. 
As you exhale, opposite side, right hand to the left thigh, left hand gently falls behind. Open chest, neutral curve. Breathing in your twist. Imagining that your twist is like a dishcloth in the sink. And it get ri gets rid of any grime, any buildup, any residue that you might have in that dishcloth. And your breath is like the water that cleanses it. As you inhale, slowly bring yourself back through stillness in the center. Bring your hands to turn the palms facing up. Bring your thumb and point your finger to that, together to touch. I want a nice open chest. Close your eyes or soften your gaze down towards the floor just in front of you. Make sure your seated position is comfortable, knowing that you're going to be here for a few minutes. So if that means sitting on a cushion, adding on any extra layers of clothing, feel free to do so. Focusing on your breath. Watching your breath come in. Notice where it's reaching to. And then watch it go out. Any thoughts arise again, just label them, file them, and come back to your breath. Place no judgment behind anything that arises. Just notice. And then bring your attention back to your breath. Relax your jaw. Relax your forehead. The area around your nose relaxes. Your shoulders melt away from your ears. Knowing you may no longer need to wear the weight of the world. Relax your digestive system. hips sinking into the floor. Deepen your inhale. And know that you allowed your body to relax that nervous system that so commonly keeps us in fight or flight mode. You allowed it to relax. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, release through the mouth. Bring your palms together to touch at your heart center. Bow your chin towards your chest slightly. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. And please, to let everyone know that you joined our community, please write a comment below so that we feel that community feel even though we're in our own homes. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. Namaste.